We've got a throw with Joe, in with Joe Cullen today. He's popped in to have a little practice with darts, a bit of a tweak. Um, just thought we'd take some time to ask him a few questions. We'll start with, you've got Saturday in the match play coming up, Joe. How's the form? Uh, well, it was good before last week, but I think it's different for the TV event, so I think I'm sure I'll be up for it Saturday. Uh, Sunday, sorry. So who have you got first game? Chris Dolby. Good, good, mate, friend, good yeah. mate of yours? Yeah, good friend of mine, good laugh, um, but... It's all different, isn't it? You know, we've, we've all got mates on the tour, but it's different when it comes, you know, to on the hockey. Yeah, you'll leave it there, won't you? And you're going to be that's going to be a very competitive game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like I say, I've never played Chris on TV neither, so it should be a good game. But your TV forms, this has been as good as ever, hasn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah, I seem to have um, taken my floor form to the TV, which is always pleasing. You know, it's, it's, some people find it difficult, when I did as well. You know, to start with, but is that to... is that what you put it down to that you've actually always had that standard of playing talent? You're now just delivering it on the TV. Yeah, I, th I think that could be the case for every talk card holder. Everyone's got the game to beat anyone, but it's just about putting it together at the right time. So, where does that belief come from in your game that that you know you've stepped up a level? How do you, you know, because you are, you are a better player than you were a year ago? There's no question of that. So, yeah. where's that belief from? I think confidence is a massive thing. You know, you look at people like Johnny Clayton and he's found confidence from nowhere and he's gone on to achieve what he's achieved. So uh, I think confidence is a massive thing. Um, and obviously you've got to have the talent as well, but yeah, I'd say confidence is where, where it is. If you're confident, then you can beat anyone. And then you start executing, it snowballs and your, your, your game's climbing in, in the right direction then. So uh, you had the new darts uh, new, last November, was it? Yeah, yeah, November, yeah, when I signed it. And you've stuck with them, no changes? No, no, a little change on the points, but you know, Minimal, really, but the, the darts have worked brilliant for me. Uh, so, is, is that an extra on the points you've gone with an extra ring or a bit more grip? Uh, yeah, a little bit longer and a little bit more grip on the points, yeah, which uh, Lee sorted out for me and it seems to, seems to have worked. So I, um, my, my form's been good since I've had the darts. So, what, what does the extra length of the point give you? Because, I mean, we're talking less than a, what, a millimetre or? Yeah, but everyone wants extra length, don't they? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah there's nothing wrong with that. But, yeah, no, it's, um, it just, I think it opens up the treble a little bit more for me. Um, oh, so the darts are sticking out that tiny yeah, bit more, yeah. a little bit yeah. more, yeah. And um, the grip as well, I, I hold the point, so the grips, I've, I've always had the grip, no matter which darts I've used. So you, is the, because uh, you've got a lovely subtle scallop in that dart, is that, is your thumb right in that scallop? Yeah, yeah, I've, 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 um, I've played about with scallops before and it's always been sort of too deep and I felt it, you know, sticking when I've gone, but... Uh, Lee, you can't, you can't actually see it, you can, but you can feel it. No, you it can't, but you it. can feel it when yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, and it's, um, it's that subtle, but like for me, I know every time that my, th my thumb and my index finger are in the right place every time. Yeah, and then so you can start to feel what you're going to score before you score, and that's where the oh, confidence. I, I would say feel what I'm going to score, but yeah, you, you, get, you get the feel of the dart, and it's, um, it, it just feels comfortable, which is, yeah, you need, you need to feel comfortable with the equipment that you're using. Yeah, and what kind of what kind of practice will you do building up into the weekend? Will you change the routine you've got, or will you just stick to what you normally do? No, I'll just stick to what I normally do. I'm a pretty simple practitioner. Just throw a treble twenty. For that, that's it. I don't throw any doubles. You don't just, really work doubles at no, all. No, well, just, why just why is 20. that? Is that? I just, it's something I've always done, and I think if the um, if you can hit a if you can hit a target that's tiny. You can hit it anyway. You, you should be able to hit a double that's you know, twice the size of it. And what kind of time will you put into that practice? Will you try and do a couple of hours a day or...? Yeah, well, I try to do a couple of hours a day, but obviously I've got a young family as well, so... I'm Keeping you busy. Yeah, and... running here, there and everywhere. And, you know, I've, I've got, got other things on my mind at the minute as well. So, yeah, I, I do a minimum sort of an hour, an hour and a half a day, but... Obviously so if you if you're in, in the middle of a practice session and it's going really really well, do you stick with that practice or do you think no, that's good enough? I can. Yeah, well, I won't just stand there just for the sake of standing yeah. there. I'll, if, if I'm playing rubbish, I, that's that's why I don't like to practice with people, because if, like, if you're playing rubbish and somebody's come around for a two three hour session, whatever it is, and you want to walk yeah, away, I'm, yeah, I'm not getting anything from that, so that's why I've and never. You don't want to keep losing as well. I mean, yeah, we're well, one of the practice guys we've worked with on Go Darts Pro. He massive advocate that all practice should be on your own and not in games, not even any five or one style yeah, practice. I can't, so, I can't like, see the benefit yeah. of you know. If, if, if I'm practicing with you, say I can't see the benefit of me beating you every time, or you beating me every time. Yeah. I, can't, I can't see the benefits. I think there's always one player who'll come off worse. Yeah, because quite a lot of players like to play themselves back <laughs> into form with, say, going to maybe even their local league or anything like that. Do yeah. you, you don't need that? No, I've not played local league for 
well over 10 years, I've played Super League for something similar as well. Yeah, and you, then the sh like you say, with the family and the schedules, it's, it's chaos busy. So, you know, you've kept, you keep your throw very simple. You don't work on, you don't change anything technically either. Um, no, I've, I've, I have actually thought about it um, around about the time when I signed with Winmore. So I thought about it then, but then my form sort of took off from then. So I thought, well, keep it's it not, as not, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's not broken, so I'll try to fix it. Because you, you, you love your snooker. Yeah, yeah. So you you know the guys at snooker work hard in their in the technical areas. Um, is it was that part of your your thinking in that process to think about getting a coach maybe or not so much a coach, maybe just just like a fresh set of eyes on on the mechanisms of my throw because I've never really thought of breaking it down like that. I just just throw at the board and if it if it happens it happens. But if you look at all top sports, a lot of them, well, the majority of them have got. Well, Coaching every tennis, every every golf. top sport, apart from, and this is the yeah. question: is is why is dart so different to all those other sports? And it's an accuracy sport. Yeah, I just I just think it's maybe stubbornness in dart players. Maybe is there an ego thing that that you possibly, don't want to be told possibly, to change? Yeah, or? yeah possibly. I, I, th I think because when we we spoke with Gezi uh, on when we did the the live launch, he was literally adamant that nobody he knew his games, a simple game. You learn to throw at the target and get on with it, kind of thing. But there is a psychology side to it, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, when, it's when you try to complicate the game that it gets difficult. I think Richard Burnett once told me that, and it obviously he's, he's as mad as they come. So I think I, th I think what it is is the um, the player thinks that they know best all the time, and they won't be told by somebody. Say, say if it's somebody who's not who's not been at the top of darts, or if it's just yeah, some not thrown like, under that pressure. Yeah, or yeah. Doubt, yeah. If, if it's just yeah, some, there's probably a lot to that. Yeah, if it's just some random person who you know, but they might study the the technical know, the mechanics side, yeah, the, the trajectory and things like that. And I think maybe the ego comes into it then that a professional dart player won't be told by somebody who can't play darts. And I think I think it's that thing again in that pushing boundaries. We've seen Michael push the boundaries. All you guys have pushed on because of the standard he's raised. I think. What it will take is that the next person to come through with a coach with a different approach will change the game again. But right now, you know, it's like you said, you're, you're playing at that top level. Maybe you uh, maybe you don't need one. So, Joe, we wish you all the very best at the match play. We'd love to see you uh, lift the, the trophy. Yeah, me too. And uh, thanks for coming in, spending yeah. some time. Thanks a lot. Cheers.